Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to explain the whole concept of SOKATOA. This is an incredible tool that every math student has to know, so today I'm going to teach it to you. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. It helps support the channel and allows me to keep making videos like this. With that in mind, let's get started. SOKATOA is actually a combination of three acronyms. Its purpose is to help you remember the three main trig functions, and it's surprisingly effective. If you ever have a test on this topic, just write this on the top of your paper and you'll see what I mean. So, what do I mean by trig functions? Well, sine, cosine, and tangent are all trig functions. They're simply ratios that compare side lengths based on the angles within a triangle. These three ratios are very specific to the triangle, and so they can't be mixed up. That's why we use SOKATOA to remember them. First, let's start with SO. SO means that sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So that brings up a good question. What is the hypotenuse? Basically, the hypotenuse is the longest side of a triangle. It's always opposite to the right angle, and an easy way to find it is to see which way the right angle points. So here, I've drawn the right angle in orange, and you can see that it kind of points this way, indicating that this side is the hypotenuse. And we can see that obviously because that side is clearly the longest side in the triangle. Anyway, going back to Sokotoa, if we're trying to take the sine of this angle right here, then opposite to that would be this side, which is the 4. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, the hypotenuse is 5, which is clearly the longest side. So sine of that angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is 4 units long, and the hypotenuse is 5 units long. So the sine of that angle is 4 over 5. Okay, now let's move on to cosine. SOKATOA tells us that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent basically means next to. So if we were taking the sine of this angle once again, adjacent to that side would be the side that's three units long. Now you might be thinking five is also adjacent to that angle, but our adjacent side can never be the hypotenuse. If that angle has two sides, the adjacent side is always going to be the side that isn't the hypotenuse. So our adjacent side here is 3. Once again, our hypotenuse is still 5, so the cosine of this angle is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5, so the cosine of that angle is 3 over 5. If you understand everything up to this point, great. If not, don't worry, we're going to do some practice problems later. Now let's move on to tangent. SOKATOA tells us that tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we already know the opposite side to this angle is going to be the side that's 4 units long, and the adjacent side is 3 units long. So our tangent of that angle is going to be 4 over 3. Now let's do some practice. Let's say I have that same triangle, but this time I want to find sine, cosine, and tangent for this angle. So let's work through it together. Sine of that angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite to that side is the side that's 3 units long, and again the hypotenuse is 5 units. So our sine is going to be 3 over 5. Now, cosine. For cosine, we know that we're looking at adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent to that angle is going to be the 4 right here. So I'm going to write a 4 here. And once again, our hypotenuse is 5. So cosine of that angle is 4 over 5. Finally, we have tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Like I mentioned before, opposite is the side that's 3, and adjacent is the side that's 4, 
So our answer is 3 over 4 for the tangent of that angle. Let's do one more practice problem. Okay, so here we have a different triangle with side lengths of 5, 12, and 13. We're going to be taking the sine, cosine, and tangent of this angle. Now usually in classes, you'll see angles written out like this using the Greek letter theta. So when we're taking the sine, cosine, and tangent, we want to start by writing them like this. This is the correct way to express the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle. So let's get started. Sine of this angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 12 over 13. Cosine of that angle is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's 5 over 13. And finally, tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 12 over 5. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.